In this example, we're going to look at a rabbit population and we're going to try and work out how long it will take for the population to at least triple. Now, the rabbit population in Ireland increases by 17% per year. So how do we do this? Now, what we do is we try to get a formula for what happens to the number of rabbits and then use a bit of trial and error to work out how many years this is going to take. So let's make a starting point to this and use R0 to be the initial number of rabbits. You only need an initial point uh, or a starting point for these calculations. So R0 is the initial number of rabbits. So after one year, the rabbits are increasing by 17%. So if it's increasing by 17%, you're really multiplying by 1.17. So we can see at the end of year one, then the initial population is multiplied by 1.17 to get the rabbits now. In year 2, we need to take the rabbits at the end of year 1 and multiply by 1.17 again. Which is the equivalent of multiplying our 0 by 1.17 and then again by 1.17, which is just squaring. And finally here, if we look at our 3, the third year for the rabbit population, we multiply the second year by 1.17 again. And considering the initial population, then you're doing 1.17 to the power of 3 times R0. Now this generates a formula, and you should see a pattern happening here. After 2 years, it's 1.17 squared times R0. After 3 years, it's 1.17 cubed times R0. So after any number of years, you take the 1.17 and put it to the power of n times R0. R0 being the initial number of rabbits, and Rn the rabbits now. Now if you look back at the question, the question says how many years will it take for the population to at least triple? So if we think about the initial population being this year, and the multiplier, which is this bit here, then to get the rabbits now, what we're saying is how long is it going to take for R0 to be at least multiplied by 3? So we can work that out. When is this highlighted number here, 1.17 to the power n greater than 3? Well, let's set up an inequality here. And use a bit of trial and error to work it out. You can try 4. I tried 4 first. You might have tried 2. You might have tried 6 first. But you just pick a starting point. And if 4 gives you 1.87 if you do 1.17 to the power of 4. Now that's smaller than 3, so we need to go higher. Let's try 5, so n being 5 years, and you get 2.19. Again, the multiplier here is not greater than or equal to 3, so we need to keep going. Let's try 6, and you get 2.57. Again, that's smaller than 3. Let's try 7. 1.17 to the power 7 is equal to 3. Right, okay, we have a winner then. So 1.17 to the power of 7 gives us three times the initial number of rabbits, so we're talking about seven years. So the rabbit population will triple within seven years.